that blue Jace over there. And then now. Hi, Blue. Alright, so this is a fishing rod holder for the pier. Stop it. Let me show you how to make it. Stop it. You stop it. You'll need a board. And this was a one inch by six inch wide six foot board. Cut it down to one foot in length. You'll need some a PVC tube. In this case I already cut it down to six inch pieces. On one side you'll need to draw or drill in the pilot holes. On the opposite side the bigger hole so that you can get the screw head through it. You'll need a lashing strap. And since this wood is an inch thick, might as well just go with some three quarter inch screws. What? What are you doing? That's one. Straighten it out. That's two. Drop it. And then drop it again, of course. Okay, next up, attach your lashing strap, put the teeth end down. No. That's it. There you have it. These are quarter inch, one and a quarter inch pipes, tubes, PVC tubes, whatever you want to call it. That's a lashing strap, teeth on the bottom, with about three foot worth of strap. So when you attach it onto the pier, it goes all the way around the pier comes back up, cut your little end there at an angle so that it feeds easier into the teeth. Secure it, and then it'll lace tightly against the freaking pier, and there you go. Get your rods up and out of the way, that way nobody's walking by kicking them. The three quarter inch screws work better for this one inch wood because if you use an actual one inch screw, they will run all the way through like they did on this side. 
You see the screws right there, kind of. The three quarter inch screws don't go all the way through the wood, but it still secures everything in tightly. So I put this one with one going straight up and down and the other one at an angle. That way maybe the kids won't get their lines crossed. And I made the second one with both the poles going straight up and down. So that way I could just stick the, the rods in there and not have to worry about it. Now, as you know, you're not always gonna catch fish. So I figured paint the bottom of them with chalkboard paint. So that me and the kids can play some tic-tac-toe or something. That way I can get them off, off their phone. 